finally, a report on the lighter side of aviation. For thousands of years, man has had a keen desire to fly like a bird. And this is a comparatively recent model with artificial wings. Not bad, either. Then there was the autogyro, of course, a most successful development. No wings to flap, but it flew very nicely and it could land or take off like a bird. The autogyro was a definite success, but still man couldn't quite land on a threepenny bit, nor could he stay still in the air. So he invented a series of helicopters, which were derisively christened flying windmills and other rude names. But they were steadily developed and wonderful things were done. Germany had a good one sometime before the war. America had this one even more recently. Note how the hat remains on the head. Still more recently, in fact only the other day, this picture reached us. One of the newest helicopters adopted by the United States Army Air Force. We can see it means business and it has a good performance. Possibly this type or its successors will be used in the anti-U-boat campaign. A warplane today, it may develop into the taxi of tomorrow or perhaps every man's runabout. In fact, the helicopter has arrived.